Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be teaching you how to get the Rec Reboot Streaming Cam on screen mode PC. Please remember that this does require two monitors, but if you don't have two monitors, I have a way for you so for you to get the streaming cam even without two monitors. So stick around. If you have two monitors, if you just open up Rec Room and check out the miscellaneous settings, you should have it enabled. But there's another way right here that I'm going to explain for my people that don't have two monitors. All you want to do is go to your web browser, whatever it is. Whatever it is, just open it up. And get the first link in the description, which is spacedesk.net. Not viewer.spacedesk.net, just spacedesk.net. When you're here, what you want to do, you want to scroll down. Until you see your version of Windows. This is only Windows compatible, so I'm sorry for my um, my Mac users out there. Although Rec Room isn't available on Mac. But <laughs> I know there was a way you could get Rec Room on Mac, so you can't do it. Do it. But once you're here, all you want to do is press the Windows 10 slash 11 version. And if you have Windows 8 or 8.1, you can download it from here as well. I'm going to press download, it's going to download a file into your computer, you're going to open it up, you're going to complete the setup, um, setup. it's going to say it's going to harm your computer, it doesn't, uh, trust me, if it, if it was, I'd already be dead, uh, then you're going to do whatever, mm, but if you already have installed it, installed it, it shouldn't show, if you don't have it installed, it shouldn't show this, uh, there should be some other things they have to do, like I agree, in, uh, to the terms uh, because I already have that installed and I don't have to do that. So once you do that, you're gonna get something like uh, it could look like this. This driver console is pretty much not needed. You're gonna need the IP right there. I'm gonna need to blur that out, but you're gonna need that IP right there. You, you're gonna need to memorize that, and then you're gonna open your browser back up. And you want to go in spacetest.net. You want to scroll down and go to go to a HTML5 viewer page. Then you want to type in whatever your I, the IP it gave you here, and then you want to press connect. Once it connects, it's going to start replicating it on your screen. If it starts appearing all glitchy, what you have to do is go over here. Press over here, go, well, leave full screen. Then, once you leave the full screen, what you want to do is close, close, and then right click, and then go to display settings and change um, the way we are the ducts. You can also do that from your F. Uh, there's uh, an availability for. Um, laptops, I think, for them to be able to change their projection screen through their um, computer uh, keyboard. Um, I'm not really sure how to do this on my computer, but uh, I know you can do it. Um, so once you're there, you want to just change it to be extend instead of display. And then it should look a bit like this. And then you're going to go back into full screen. If you want to have another browser up, just drag this out. And then go full screen over here. Here, then you want to go enter full screen. And then you're going to move into whatever you want, and it should work properly uh, whenever you move something into there. So then, what you need to do is you go over here, and then you want to need to find uh, Steam, and you want to launch it. Uh, you're going to want to launch uh, Steam in your computer. Um, so then you want to press open. Over here, once you're in Steam, it's going to open up, and once Steam's open up, you want to launch Rec Room, um, and then you're going to be able to use your streaming camera. So, once you open up Steam, it's going to connect to your account, and as it connects, it's going to appear right here, you're going to go to your library, uh, launch Rec Room, go to non-VR, and just wait for it to load. 
should load fairly quickly, so do not worry. As it's loading, you shouldn't need to do a lot, you just wait for it to load, and once it loads, you once it loads, all you need to do is go to another room. Um, so let's wait for the game to load, and then we'll show you how to do that. because it most likely will lag you the first time you use two monitors for Rec Room. And there is some reasons as to why, because it's already um, prepared for the shape camera. So once you're here, you want to pull out your settings, you want to go miscellaneous. You're going to see this streaming camera option, and you're going to need to press it. You now have the stream mixer. The stream mixer will let you use the hand of your camera. Uh, it isn't appearing on my OBS right now because it's a display capture, but that's pretty much how you should be able to get it. Um, so if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly respond to them. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on another tutorial or such. And yeah, see ya.